Today guys, Ben from Ozyak here to give you another video. This one is going to be looking at how we transport our kayaks. We need to use purpose designed kayak racks to adequately support the kayak during transit. Remember basically what's on top of the car is travelling at the same speed as the car. So what can happen is if the kayak was to break free from however you've supported it to the car, it can keep going at that speed. And it'll slow down quick enough but even so, you can end up with some real, real big problems. It can be very, very dangerous. And you as the driver of this vehicle need to understand your responsibilities with this kind of thing. So using purpose designed kayak racks, such as this Rhino rack system, are the ideal way to go. We'll have a bit more of a look at those in a second. But let's have a quick look at how we can tie the kayak down to the car properly. Remember we said using that um, uh, ratchet straps is a really bad idea and the reason for that is it places too much stress on the kayak it can cause cracks, it can cause premature aging for the kayak it's really not, not a good thing at all so what we're going to do is put the kayak up on the top of the car real simple and I want to show you some the correct straps too ok what we've got now is the kayak is now on top of the car supported by these rhino rack systems this is going to really help prevent the kayak from slipping forward we still need to hold the kayak down the way that we do that is we use these purpose designed kayak straps. These aren't cheap, they cost around $10 to $15 per strap. This particular one is made by Sea to Summit. It has a braking strain of 250 kilos, which is more than adequate, and um, it has a 3 metre strap on it. They're very, very simple to use. I just hook them underneath the bar, toss them over the car. Now the strap is returned, all I need to do is slide the strap like so. That's given me a good 10 inches or 25 centimeters of spare strap. That's enough, that's not going to go anywhere. And I use one strap to the front and one for the rear of the kayak. One strap on the front and one on the rear of the kayak is now going to hold that kayak in place even in uh, fairly arduous sort of highway conditions where we might have strong crosswinds, wind, rain, all those kind of things uh, that are going to toss the kayak around a bit, especially with speed and braking as you have on uh, normal driving conditions. There we go guys, how to, tr how to transport your kayak properly and this way looking after our kayak not only is it safe but it's going to help preserve the life of the kayak and give us um, good service for the years to come. Thank you. Ideally a proper roof rack system for transporting your kayak is the way to go. However, not everybody has that. And for those people that don't have the luxury of a proper roof rack, or maybe you're in the process of getting one but you need something in, the, in between times, the Seat to Summit soft racks are an ideal way to go. They're so easy to install, it can be done in really just a matter of seconds, and then when you don't require them, you can take them off, which is great for lots of people who only get down to the water periodically or who may not require their roof racks all the time. Or who might, for example, have a rental car or um, be looking at a proper solution for the, uh, for the longer term. First thing that we're going to do is pop the, um, the doors open on the car and then we're going to lay the kayak racks roughly where we want them and position the straps underneath the car. Super simple. The racks are now on top of the car, all we now need to do is put the kayak on. And here we have a really simple solution for transporting kayaks when you don't have a uh, permanent roof rack solution on your car. Another really good option for carrying kayaks is the J-Star racks. These ones are by Rhino Rack. They're really good, they're really robust, they survive the weather really, really well. Uh, they have an excellent price point. 
um, and they integrate extremely well with the um, Rhino Rack Sports bars and so on, and, and the uh, other sort of Rhino Rack bars. The um, they work very well with kayak straps, um, and you get the initial one, which is just a single kayak, which goes on obviously on the, on one side, and you can expand that uh, with a second option for the, for the second kayak. So for a lot of people, this is a really, really good option. Um, the one downside of it is because the kayaks are up on their side, then the, uh, the car's center of gravity does shift slightly, and also you're more susceptible to getting caught by crosswinds. Uh, but it's definitely an option worth considering, and there's a lot of these around on the, uh, the second-hand market. It makes it very affordable. Thank you. Well, thanks for watching. I'm going to be building my YouTube channel with an average of two videos per week, eventually covering all sorts of topics on kayak fishing, from reviews of gear, reviews of kayaks, location reports, even hook and cook type uh, ideas for you. I'm looking forward to any comments or suggestions you might have. Please leave a comment below or you can message me directly through YouTube. If you liked the video, please like it. Please feel free to share this video on other social media such as Facebook or uh, Twitter. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time, tight lines and stay safe.